so got myself an area here and I'm gonna go ahead and break open a chow and uh, have my first meal of the day it's like it's like nine o'clock at night here in Alaska and I haven't eaten since yesterday so anyways give myself a meal and we'll get started on this journey okay so I got menu 21 tuna lemon pepper so there's that so I'm expecting this to be a little bit gross mosquitoes are everywhere and they're only gonna get thicker so until I get everything prepped I'm kind of close up here it's pretty bad so anyways first things first is get my knife out Oh, there we go. All right. So first things first. Nothing else. So got our trash bag here. Lemon pepper tuna. They went all out for us. Okay. Gross. Plain tortillas. Woo. An accessory pack. We don't got coffee this time. We've actually just got raspberry drink mix in here. So, woo. All right. First strike bar, apple cinnamon. There we go. Starting to redeem itself. The mosquitoes are not doing themselves a favor here. So, Type 2 Strawberry Dairy Shake. Woo! Not bad. These things are okay. Not too bad though. Liquids go over there. Alright. Cheddar Cheese Crackers. Okay. So, basically, combos. And a cheese spread. Cheese spread, just plain old cheese spread and fat free mayo so okay so I guess I'll go ahead and take off my gloves here and then I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping this main meal here because I guess I'll work backwards on this one okay so go ahead and open up this thing here Pardon me looking around a lot. We've got a lot of wild animal activity out here. So, kind of got to watch. Especially since I'm eating out here. Not only the mosquitoes that could give you a problem out here. So, add in our government mayo, which is packaged by Diamond Crystal Brands. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, wow. I didn't even cut deep enough. Good job. Good job. Alright. That should be enough. So then you pour in all that mayo. All of it. Okay. Okay, so apparently this stuff is very high in omega-3s, has 150 milligrams uh, per serving uh, of DHA and EPA omega-3s. Okay, right off the bat, not bad. A little lemon, a little pepper, it's really not that bad, it's not like the regular tuna that we used to get. So, okay. Mayo doesn't really do much for it. It adds a little bit of a liquidy component. This is kind of dry, actually. Okay, so that's, that's really it. Um, for the 
tuner. So next decision I gotta make is make a quesadilla with cheese spread and tortillas or have our combos. I'm gonna have the combos first. It's a big package for so few rip-off government combos. See? Not too much. Uh, these neck gators from, what is it? SAFishing.com you, know, you buy one and you get like five more, four more, four or five more for free. I don't know. It's amazing. Got a big bundle of them for 20 bucks. Pretty nice. They come in handy. You can turn this thing into a bandana, a ball of clava, or something else. But, but now it's just a, a neck and face wrap, I guess you could say. It keeps you pretty warm in the winter, though. So, miniature review right there. Yeah. So, anyways, the combo's pretty good. They're not as dry as the ones that I remember having, but, uh, yeah, they're just not really, they're not really combos. And they're government combos, which is not really combos, if that makes any sense. Kind of like the MRE beefaroni. It's government beefaroni, meaning that's not really, or beef ravioli. Not really beef ravioli, but it's trying to be. It's not even the Walmart brand beef ravioli, which is excellent. Next up is the quesadilla. And then, make my dairy shake. And then I'll use the same container to make my raspberry, uh, whatever it's called, drink mix. That's what it is. Okay. See, some people like to use their, their MRE thing as a plate. Dude, learn to juggle. Learn to juggle. Hold in your hand. Don't be afraid of a few germs if you set it down. Like, really doesn't matter. I promise you it doesn't. So, this is going to be pretty thick, so I don't know what the quality of this quesadilla is going to be. Some really thick packaging for this stuff. Well, well that cut it open pretty good. There we go. So, I'm just going to put this whole, you know, packet in here. Oh, and I got a little bit of wildlife in there too. Oops. So, just set it on my leg like so. And then, I think I got a chipmunk yelling at me. They typically don't like it. There's a, evidence all over the place of a chipmunk, you know, broken nuts on the ground and stuff where they'll feed and they'll just drop the, the shells. And, you know, I'm like right near one, so don't, uh, don't be surprised if you hear a chipmunk going, pew, pew, chip, chip, pew, because <laughs> they'll do that. They'll just try to intimidate you. Okay, so, that's a pretty generous amount of cheese on this quesadilla. We've got to massage it over to this side more, so it's not delinquent. Share the love. I, I was going to do it, like, individually, like, peel off this little part, which I am going to do, because I like these tortillas individually. I was going to leave it on there, but I want some cheese. And I want very little tortilla. And then I want tortilla with nothing but tortilla. Hmm. This is one of those rare times 
where I'm fine with the just plain cheese bread. Others would be better, but I'm fine with plain old cheese bread. But all the cheese bread I ever had was separated when I was in. You always had to knead it and the peanut butter too. Like everything always had to be worked on. But you gotta remember that the ones that I had were old. The government really isn't good at rotating their stock. Maybe nowadays they are. But they weren't when I was in. You know it's messed up? There's some things in MREs that you actually like, like the whole peanut cheese spread. Or, like me, I love the wheat snack bread. Where the fuck are you going to find that? Where are you going to find something like that? Unless you buy it online from somebody. And it's just a shitload of whole peanut cheese spread for like $100 a packet. <laughs> Scumbag people. Hmm. No! Oh, that was a waste of a slap on the leg. Oh. No. Get away from me. I don't want to be your friend anymore. You bit me. Okay, so. Strawberry dairy shake powder. If you guys have watched my other videos, um, my recommendation for the drink mixes and the dairy shake powders, like pretty much any of the beverages or any of the shakes, anything you really have to add water to, add less. I'm telling you right now, the best way to go, especially with the dairy shakes, um, because then it'll end up being just a um, strawberry flavored drink mix if you add too much to it. And I just play it by ear. And, yeah, that's close enough. <clears throat> so. As far as... I filled it up to about here. So it's a little bit below. It's, it's about to here. That's the best way to get it to actually be a little thicker. And that's really what you want, is to have something a little thicker. You know, delicious, right? Yeah. Okay, we agree. Cool. It did okay. It's still got a lot of little white chunks in there, which is just kind of normal for this stuff. You just get on the walls and then it had to be tipped. Okay. chunks, but whatever, who cares. There's just little white specks, it looks like the inside of the bag has acne or something. I don't know, there you go. That shows it pretty well. Well. I got a chunk in this corner, I can feel it. Oh well. Okay. So. <clears throat> on second thought, on the raspberry drink mix, I don't think I'm going to commit to it. Because I've had that on so many videos. I'm not doing a review of it. I, I, I don't need to. It's almost tasteless. But I still stash it away because I don't drink much soda. And when I drink water, I like to have drink mix with it. And it works in a pinch. The toilet paper works as a fire starter. That's about all it's good for. It's not good for toilet paper. The gum. The point of gum is to chew it afterwards. The idea is getting the saliva to go into your mouth. Saliva will stop. It's 
harder build up and all that other stuff because of the bacteria in it. That's the point behind chewing gum is to start it, like keep you salivating. Salt, I didn't use it because there wasn't really a main meal. You don't want to add it to tuna. It's already kind of weird. So, you know, don't need the salt there. Moist towelette. It's good toilet paper. You can never have enough. It's going to last, you know, a pretty long time, so it's good for toilet paper, wiping your face, cleaning things off, you know, whatever. So, yep. <clears throat> okay, so milkshake is done with. I, I am done with it. Now, the apple cinnamon for strike bar. Hmm. I haven't had one of these in quite a while. <sighs> oh, smells like sugary bread. Oh, yeah. Now that's some good stuff. Now, mm. now, unless it's really hot out, <coughs> these things are not going to be too malleable. You know, it's going to be pretty rough. Rice Krispies in there, sugar-based, you know, substance, but overall, it's really not flavored too much, it's more texture, and when you do get the flavor, it's just, that little tease of flavor, it's just really good, but I think it's just the texture is just so complimenting to the little flavor, it just works out. Okay, so that was tuna. Um, lemon pepper tuna. The tuna was not bad. Lemon pepper, better than the original. Um, a little bit dry. The mayo didn't really help. Dairy shake was was a good part. The, uh, the combos, I guess, was a good part. And the, uh, the first strike bar was amazing. Um, but this is one of those rations that you go through and you would wrap fuck it for the first strike bar and, you know, some other stuff. But <clears throat> I, I don't really see it as a main meal that I would be too upset about. But it would be a main meal where it would just be like, okay. Uh, or it's an MRE that I would just be like, uh, okay. It's not really something I would, uh, you know, be jumping up and down for like a Chili Mac. Chili macaroni is like the best. Just saying. But anyways, um, I appreciate you all watching this. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you for another MRE review uh, along with all the other crap that I do. But Alright, you guys have a good one. And I gotta, I'm going to start shooting some mosquitoes. Uh, later.